friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Amanda and this is my May book haul I didn't buy all of these books this month but I've been collecting them for a couple months I figured why don't I show them now so I can put them on my shelves I'll probably also have a unhaul soon so look out for that because I need to make some room and I know there's some books on here that can be um, donated to other people so let's get into the books so I have second first impressions by Sally Thorne this I've talked about before it's about this woman who works at a retirement community and this like bad boy property developer shows up and I believe the retirement community is trying to set the two of them up but she doesn't have a very good first impression of him I suppose um I don't know I love the hating game so I believe I will also love this one then I have Somewhere We Only Know this is by Maureen Gu I read I believe in a thing called love this year and or last year maybe I can't remember and I really enjoyed that one so I saw this and figured I would give this one a try um it's not picking it up because the lighting is bad but it's really pretty it's like rainbow letters there we go and I believe this is about a k-pop star and I don't know I really don't know what it's about to be honest then I have The Never Tilting World by Ren Pecco. I got this one for my birthday. I don't know much about it, but I've heard great things. I also have The Bone Season up there, or Bone Season, no, The Bone Witch up there, which I need to read as well. So now I have a couple of their books and I really need to get to them. I think, oh, okay. So it says generations of twin goddesses have long ruled until one sister's betrayal split the world in two. A great abyss now divides two realms, one cloaked in eternal night, the other scorched beneath an ever-burning sun. Two goddesses' daughters must set out on separate, equally dangerous journeys in hope of healing their broken world, no matter the sacrifice it demands. That sounds amazing. Next up, I have The Gilded Ones. This is by Namina Forna. I've already talked about this. You guys know all about this one, but I, I still haven't read it, and I've had it for a couple months now, and I really need to make that happen. I need to read faster so I can read more than more in a month because there's so many books that I want to get to. <laughs> then I have Witches Steeped in Gold by Shannon Smart. You guys already know about this one. Jamaican inspired fantasy about rivals who come together to defeat a common enemy. Ugh. And the cover, just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And then I have a couple things that I picked up at Target because they were having like a buy one, get one half off. I picked up The Girls Are All... So nice here by Lori Elizabeth Flynn. I don't know anything about this. It's blurbed by Megan Miranda, Robin Harding, Samantha Downing. So it has some big name authors blurbed on here. Hopefully they read it and really liked it. Okay, so it looks like a group of friends did something awful in college and then they have a reunion and then someone like narks on them maybe. I don't know. It seemed interesting and I love thrillers so I'm gonna give this a try. And then I picked up The Lost Village. This is by Camilla Stein and Ersten. And it says the Blair Witch Project meets Midsummer in this brilliantly disturbing thriller. I don't know. It's giving me like uh, The Village vibes. You know, M. Night Shyamalan. So I don't know. We'll see. I mean, Blair Witch Project, I love that movie. And uh, Midsummer, I have not seen, but Hereditary I have, so I can only imagine really although I did see um I believe her name is Jordan from Jordaline Reads uh talk about this recently and they were disappointed so I don't know we'll see and then I have the firekeeper's daughter this is by Angeline Bully Bully this is about a girl who lives on a Ojibwe reservation. She witnesses a murder. She becomes part of the um, investigation. She decides to go undercover for the FBI. And while she is doing this, she's realizing that maybe the FBI isn't, aren't the good guys. It's a big book. It's almost 500 pages. That's crazy. But eventually I will get to this one. And then I have Her Three Lives. This is by Kate Hollihan. I don't talk about this often on my channel, but Lies She Told by this author is one of my favorite thrillers. It is so good and so underrated, and I'm really excited to get to this. Um, this is about a woman named, named Jade. Apparently she has three different lives, public life, private life, secret life. There is a burglary at her home, and her fiance starts to suspect she had something to do with it, and she's not who she says she is. I have no idea, but I do know that... 
I'm excited. Next I have Arsenic and Adobo. This is by Mia P. Mananfala. This is book one in a culinary cozy series. And our main character, Lila, opens a restaurant. Her ex-boyfriend comes in to eat and he ends up dying in the restaurant. So she becomes the primary suspect. Um, and she's trying to figure out how to get out of it. And I don't know, it just sounds really good and the cover is gorgeous and look, there's even a dog. That's great. So I'm excited to get to this one. And then last but certainly not least, I have A's for Aunties. This is by Jesse Q. Sedanto. You guys have heard me talk about this a bunch. It's one of my most anticipated releases. This is about a girl who goes on a blind date and I believe she kills him. She calls her aunties. They help her hide the body in a freezer while they try to figure out what to do and they end up taking the freezer to a wedding that they're hosting. And that's all I know. That's all I need to know. It just, I feel like it's gonna be comedic and just great. I think I feel like it's gonna be great and this cover is amazing. Like it's so cool, I love it. So that's all I have for you guys for today. I will probably do another book haul in June because I do have some books coming my way um, soon in the next few weeks, I'm really excited. Go ahead and let me know down below what is the most recent book that you've hauled or that you've gotten from the library. I'd love to know. If you don't wanna do that, go ahead and leave me a tree emoji. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. I'll talk to you later.